Hey guys, Casual Gamer Corpus from Every Dairy here, and I'm gonna teach you how to get filthy rich in PSO2. I'll be going over all the methods that I can certify will make you so rich you'll be able to afford that cosmetic item you want, and the best part? It's not a multi-level marketing scheme, so let's get started. So first, let's go over weekly quests. These are straightforward. Generally, you'll have one random task, such as enhance a unit or do 10 daily orders, which I ignore followed by making 200,000 meseta from client orders. The fastest way to do this is to do gathering quests for yurks. Hmm. Farewell, then. You'll want to fish at a blue node until you get a fever, then gather at a green node until you get the specified items. You'll want to do this in two different areas. I recommend ruins and coast areas for your gathering needs. Alternatively, once a week, there will be a Kill Balrodos daily client order, which will award 250,000 Meseta for defeating a Balrodos on very hard or higher. And finally, the third quest will always be doing Rush Practices Harkatoan on Super Hard or a random extreme quest of your choice. In total, from doing your weekly quests, you will gain 2.2 million Meseta per character. Extreme quests. Ruins and Oceanids, 36 to 40. Fast, easy to do. You can subscribe to this YouTube video as you do this, and it will net you approximately 100,000 Meseta with a 50% Meseta booster every run. You need to make sure you are not running any sort of rare drop booster, otherwise, you will get more items than Meseta. Now you might be wondering, hey casual gamer Corvus from Every Dairy, there has to be a more efficient way to use my extreme passes than a 100k Meseta run, right? Well, you're right. Full disclaimer, this will require you to have decentish gear and skill to benefit from this next method. And that brings us to the most efficient way to use your extreme passes. Solo Risk Realm is pretty difficult, but has very good payouts, which include fixes such as Veteran's Resolve, Crack, and S-Class abilities. Generally for Risk Realm, I fail stages 1 and 2, and succeed 3, 4, and 5. This gives me a pretty consistent clear time, and enough space to claim all the units that potentially could have dropped. Now let's break down my favorite way to make Meseta in this game. What if I told you we could just print Meseta? You can exchange one X-Cube for 30 grinders at the X-Cube exchange shop. Every grinder sells for 400 Meseta each. This means that X-Cubes are worth 12,000 Meseta each. So you could exchange Rising Weapon Badges for Baron Blossom Light Triggers, and with 600% rare drop booster I got 43 X-Cubes or 516,000 Meseta on Extra Hard. And that's pretty nice, but it did take around 7 minutes of my life. Enter Cradle of Darkness. Every alliance has a shop, and allows you to purchase various items with alliance points. Your alliance can purchase up to 10 Cradle of Darkness triggers. That means every single person in your alliance will receive 10 triggers, which is pretty insane. This trigger quest on Ultra Hard will literally rain 13 star and 14 star weapons on you. This means you do not need to loot at all, as it will just automatically deposit to your inventory and your storage. And you can also do this with minimal gearing required, as long as you have 12 people who are not AFK, you will get reasonable clear times. And here's why this method is even more nuts. You can obtain PSE Verses in Cradle of Darkness. This means you'll be able to get such a crazy amount of executes in such a short amount of time that you can turn into grinders and then sell to the shop, literally printing Meseta. So overall, in one Cradle of Darkness with one PSE Burst, I went from 0 X cubes to 332 X cubes, which is approximately 4 million Meseta. So to summarize, head over to the most populated block on your ship, or assemble some friends, slash toge Cradle of Darkness of boys, fill it up, and make some bank. Now the only realistic downside to this method is that you're just gonna run out of storage space. That, that's really it, so make sure you clear out your default storage, clear out your character storage, before you hop into Cradle of Darkness so you can make less trips and more trigger runs. Now I was going to include a whole section about how to maximize your shop pass, however it ended up being a little too long. So tune in next time where I'll explain how to maximize your gains with a 3 day shop pass. 
thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please comment, subscribe, leave a like so my ego can grow as big as the bank you're about to make. This is Casual Gamer Course from Everyday, logging out.